This is the Schmo with the pro, with the number two ranked heavyweight in the UFC, the Predator, Francis Ngannou, here in the greens and proteins in Las Vegas, Nevada. How we doing? I did good. I knew. <laughs> I can't complain, man. You're getting ready for JDS, UFC Minnesota. Are you ready? I am. I am. Today, is, today was the last training section, so now we go. He told the schmo back in April he was going to make you look like a fragile little girl. He's not afraid of your boxing, man. And we saw what you did against Alistair Overeem, sending him into another orbit with that knockout power. You expect the same results against JDS in Minnesota? Yes, I expect to see something like that uh, again at uh, JDS because he's talking again a lot of shit. He want to convince himself with... Um, but he's going to get him... I'm going to put it... You're going to be surprised. And you don't believe his accolades in jiu-jitsu, man, because we haven't seen that. No, 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 no. I don't believe that jiu-jitsu stuff. I don't know what, where that black belt, uh, belt came from or uh, who gave him that black belt, but I don't believe it. I'm sure I took a junior on uh, the ground, uh, ground game. I would make it tough at least twice per round. What have you been doing for your conditioning, man? Because that's been the knock on you, your conditioning. How is he going to last in three rounds, four rounds, five rounds? Is it even going to go that far? I'm, I'm not seeing this fight go that far, but if ever, I'm prepared for it. What have you been doing, though, for conditioning? What's Dewey Cooper doing with you? I'm doing what I have to do. Sprints, hill runs, what are we doing? Climbing mountains? We're in Las Vegas. No, what I want to do, what do you want? You, you want uh, my uh, training program? No. <laughs> Keeping it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're a big college basketball fan. The Schmo saw your video of Zion Williamson. When you actually get to meet the number one overall pick in the NBA draft, what are you going to say to him? Well, I'm just going to tell him to go back home meet mommy so I'm gonna introduce you to mommy so <laughs> good jollof in the family yes show him to family so he's been missed for a long time <laughs> what do you put in your jollof what jollof the rice the jollof jero jollof yeah I know jollof rice we ate jollof rice a lot you ate it growing up or no yes definitely I mean everyone back there ate it grow growing up Good family recipe. Uh, yes, we can say that. And that's what you got to introduce to Zion Williamson. No, there are a lot of like very traditional food that I have to introduce to him, like dole. What's that? Oh, you're gonna you, uh, you're gonna look. It's some kind of like um, veggies with uh, peanut, peanut. It's kind of complicated to explain it. The Schmo will look into it, man. So you recently met Shaquille O'Neal. You're making your rounds with basketball stardom in the USA. Who's your favorite basketball player to watch? Uh, my favorite basketball player? So before it was um, um, LeBron. LeBron is still like uh, the best for me. And uh, now is uh, Zion. You see what he's doing, how athletic he is. I mean, when he jump, when he dunk, you don't believe that he's six, uh, a six foot seven guy, like almost uh, 250 pound and like very athletic. And I think he's gonna impress the NBA. Absolutely. Transitioning to boxing, the Schmo saw you over at the Tyson Fury, Tom Schwartz fight. Are you more impressed with Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder as a heavyweight boxer? Um, don't say impressed, but kind of like uh, appreciate it. Who's the best one of the two, though? Deontay or Tyson? Who is my best? Who's the best one? Who's the best heavyweight in the world in boxing? Uh, I don't think that, um, I think they're always good. Did you, you saw the fight though, who won that fight, Deontay or Tyson Fury, the first boxing match? Um, Deontay won the fight, I mean, according to the judges. They called it a tie, but we saw that knockdown twice, man. Yes, but is it what is it? 
right. It's about the power, man. What's your one message for all your fans, Francis Ngannou worldwide? Uh, check out on me on Ju June 29th uh, on ESPN. We're going to put some show down against DGS, which is a, a striker. And uh, yes, we're going to definitely put some knockout uh, in the row. He's the pro, the predator, Francis Ngannou. I'm the schmo. Let's drink these green drinks, greens and proteins. We're out.